Hi everyone, my name is Cami Williams and I'm a Facebook open source developer advocate. Chances are if you clicked on this video you're curious about the Facebook open source developer advocacy role, you might be curious about open source developer advocacy in general, you could also just be bored. In this video I'm going to do my best to describe to you what life is like as a Facebook open source developer advocate. So if that sounds good, let's get started. It's worth mentioning at this point that my colleague Joel Marcy wrote a blog post about this. It's called hello, I am a developer advocate and it's on his medium. I'll link it down below, but if videos aren't your jam, go take a look at that. In that blog post, Joel describes developer advocates as advocates for developers. Sounds good enough for me. Now I know that's ambiguous, but ultimately that is the root of the definition of a developer advocate. Advocates wear a lot of hats, and so the way one company describes the role might be different from another, but this is how we describe it for the open source team. Now at Facebook, we have a lot of open source projects, and so it's the job of a developer advocate in open source to provide a cohesive narrative across all of those projects. From that established narrative, we produce content for the community in order to make our open source projects more consumable. In order to accomplish that, we work with the engineering team. We contribute to open source projects with code. We work on feature sets. We work with the tech doc writing team to optimize our documentation and come up with new tutorials. We work with marketers to deliver content that is fresh and scalable and entertaining for you, but also showcases our projects well. Probably the best part is that the developer advocates all work together too. We work on different projects together featuring our open source technologies in order to develop empathy for all of you. We also attend events together to meet you in person. We create media content like this in order to start conversations online. Finally, we have various community outreach programs, and these community outreach programs are to scale the current existing developer audiences. A lot of times our open source projects have a designated audience that they're targeting, our community outreach brings in more people to the conversation, brings in people who aren't normally there. This is for the purpose of creating a more diverse and inclusive space in the open source community. And represent that to the rest of your team of engineers, marketers, TPMs, in order to ultimately make the project better and more well-rounded. So yeah, a developer advocate's responsibilities are vast, and a lot of it depends on the project you're working on, the community you're working with, and who you are. So hopefully this video gave you a good indication of what a developer advocate is. My name is Cami Williams. You can find me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.